Johnny, as you heard, I just did the church bell and the train bell. First, I'm going to show you how to do the uh, church bell. Um, what I do is I take the D string and I make the A string go underneath. And then I put the B A string on top. And so, and, but you have to have the cross in the middle of the fretboard. If you have it up here, it doesn't sound right. So um, what I do is I do this. And so then um, you have to have your volume down while you're doing that because then you hear all this um, stuff so it doesn't sound very good. So then when I'm done, when I'm ready to play it, I just turn up the volume and I play it. And you have to and you have to pick it at the at the um, bridge up here. Um, so that's how you do the church bell. So now I'm going to show you how to do the train bell. So what I do, it's the same idea as the church bell. So I take the E string and I make the B string go underneath. And then I fret it at the 11th fret. And then I bend it up. And then I turn up the volume. And then again I pick it at the bridge. And again you have to have the cross. And remember you have to have it like right in the middle. So this is what it sounds like. So then you have to bend it up and then you have to gradually bend it down so it sounds like the train's going by. And then you have to pick that one a little faster than the church bell. So um, that's how you do the train bell. Um, have fun, show your friends. Um, you can do it like um, with like with hell's bells, with the church bell, or you could do it with rock and roll train. So um, hope you like it. Have fun with it and have fun.